about the police investigation into the dating app death of a young woman, Lauren Smith Fields in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Investigative reporter Sarah Wallace delves into that mystery. They wanted us to forget about our daughter, their sister, our loved one. They, they thought they was going to just throw her away like she was garbage. Amid this family's anguish are emotions of outrage and disgust at how the Bridgeport Police Department has investigated the mysterious death of 23-year-old Lauren Smith Fields. It was careless. It was no concern. There was no, like, care for the family about how we felt our grief, our pain, none of that. The I team obtained this police report of the response to a 911 call from Lauren's apartment on the morning of December 12th from a white male identified as Matthew LaFountain. The investigator notes he was trembling and visibly shaken. LaFountain said they met on the dating site Bumble, began drinking shots of tequila, and Lauren became ill. That later they played some games, ate some food, and started to watch a movie. He says he carried her to her bedroom and laid her in her bed. He then laid down next to her and fell asleep. He woke up again at approximately 0630 hours and she was laying on her right side. Blood was coming out of her right nostril onto the bed and she was not breathing. The whole day goes by. No police reach out to the family at all. Her close-knit family says they went to the apartment the next day after frantically calling and texting Lauren and were referred to a Detective Cronin. They didn't even contact us. They didn't let us know anything. It's like crazy. And I'm asking him what's going on. He said she met some guy on Bumble. And I'm asking him about the guy. He was like, oh, he sounds like a really nice guy. He sounds like a really good guy. And he was like, uh, I'll call you back. and just hung up in my face. They say the detective promised to come by the apartment. Never showed up. The family's says the relationship with police devolved from there. No contact from December 13th until December 29th. They returned to the apartment to clear out Lauren's belongings and claim a new detective came by to say he'd taken over the case from Detective Cronin. The detective said he effed up, he messed up. He effed Cronin, he messed up. He like he didn't know what he was doing. He messed up the case. The family says they provided evidence they'd collected to crime scene investigators who arrived for the first time that day included a bloody sheet and a pill. And two cups of, like, drinks or whatever next to a bottle. They didn't take none of that. We seen a condom. We seen a uh, lube, uh, other stuff in there. They didn't take none of this. Sources close to the investigation tell the I-team the Matthew LaFountain pictured in this social media photo, now removed, was the man at Lauren's apartment. A neighbor at his listed address in Milford confirmed LaFountain's identity, but we were unable to reach the 37-year-old who has not been accused of any wrongdoing. LaFountain's same image appeared under the name Matthew Thomas, now also taken down. Anyone that genuinely cared and they were there, the last person there, and they know that nothing bad happened, you would at least even reach out to the family yourself. Like, exactly. listen, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss of your daughter or your sister. The family's last contact with police was on January 4th at headquarters with their attorney. What I believe is that the police failed to collect and preserve that environment from the first day. The attorney has now filed a notice of claim to sue Bridgeport for negligence, claiming the evidence was not initially submitted to the state lab. I feel like because she's a white guy and she's a black girl, it's just almost like they just thrown it under the rug. That night she was silenced, so now we are her voice. Yeah. But we're here and we're fighting for her. The Bridgeport Police Department did not respond to repeated messages we left about the case. But in previous statements, they've said the investigation is open and active and that detectives are waiting for a final report from the medical examiner on the cause and manner of death. Sarah Wallace, News 4 New York. Also, we just received a statement from the dating site Bumble that Sarah mentioned. A spokesperson says we are deeply saddened by news of Lauren Smith Fields' death and have reached out directly to the family to offer support. We've been in contact with law enforcement, but they have not yet requested any information.